Hello everyone, welcome to task 24. Now in this task, this is just a continuation to the previous task. And here we are going to see the use of a go to statement. Okay, so how we can repeat the code again and again with the help of a go to statement. That is what we are going to see. Okay, now we are going to modify this previous example. Uh, in this case, uh, I will just show you uh, how it is going to look okay so basically it is something like this right and it is going to keep on asking this question again and again right so let's try to code this so here we have the program ready uh, from the previous task so now what uh, how to use go to right now what is basically go to is go to is nothing but you want uh, you are going to shift your cursor uh, from one point to another point with the help of a go to statement okay like for example in this case in this particular program how the cursor of your program uh, how your program flow is it comes inside the main function this is the entry point right inside that it will reach line number nine first it will execute this then it will execute line number 10 there is nothing on line number 11 so it will then go to line number 12 right so it will go step by step okay one by one after every statement is executed it will come over here and it will quit the program okay now before it reaches return zero okay so let's say uh, before it reaches here i want the cursor to go back from here to let's say back over here right so it is going to uh, run the entire operation again right so that is possible with the help of uh, go to statement okay now how the go to statement works is you just have to label the program where you want to want the cursor to move right let's say for example first of all before uh, doing the go to statement you have to first label where your program must go right so let us say i want to start from here right line number 13 i should come again and execute everything from line number 13 again okay so you can start from here also it completely depends on you but if you start from here that means line number nine then then that will create a problem because your declaration should not be done again and again right so declaration once done you need not do it again and again so i will skip these two lines from my low uh, from my repetition and i can start from here or here right so uh, and again if it's if you think that the operations uh, you need not print again and again then uh, uh, you can start even from here okay so now where to start it completely depends on you okay so let me uh, start from here okay so the first thing that you should do is give a label to the point where you want to go right so here i am going to give a label let's say xyz okay you can give any name and after the label you should add a colon okay so that is very important if you do not add the colon then it will create a problem right so it is very important any name will do but it should not be a name or uh, it should not be a keyword from the c library right so uh, you cannot use scanf or printf over here right okay or integer or anything like that over here right so you can use any name let's say i can use repeat okay this is also uh, proper right so once you use that uh, name your label is done right this is called a label so once the labeling is done then you can go to the place where you want uh, the program to jump right now to jump you just write the command go to and then give the name of the label okay so my label name is repeat and after that you have to add a semicolon that's it okay so you can see what how the program is going to go it will declare the variables it will print 
basic calculator it will print all the basic uh, operations table and after that it will define a label right this has uh, this will not be printed anywhere okay it's just a reference to our uh, location right then it will get the number get the second number get select the operations then check if it's a valid operation then do this entire operation then it will print f the answer and af as soon as it prints the answer the next statement is go to repeat okay so as soon as it reaches repeat it will go to the program where that label is mentioned okay so you can see the label is mentioned over here so now the uh, the the your program will start executing from here right so it will start again with this statement okay so let's see how it works okay so uh, it has it has started uh, it is asking me for the number let's say uh, what is the first number three second number four let's let's say the operation i want to do is addition if i enter it says the answer is seven and now if you look at this it has again started asking me what is the number so it has went back again to this particular statement and it is going to continue again right so let's say four five and this time the operation is negative and you can see it looks a bit odd because i i have not added a slash in so let's correct that let's come over here in the answer and just add a slash in okay uh, let's add two slashes okay and now run it again right so enter the operation five and six so the numbers five and six then let the operation be division enter you can see you get the answer and now the program is getting repeated again right so it is starting from here again and it will do this much portion again and again right so i can do four plus three uh, sorry four three and addition right so everything is working it is continuously uh, uh, working right but the problem here is if you read the uh, aim of a program modify the previous program to run repeatedly along with an exit condition using go to right so uh, that is uh, what is the uh, exit condition is right so uh, if you recall we have already given an exit condition right so as soon as you do any invalid operation your program ends right so what we have to do is inside the table we can simply say another line okay so i will just copy this and paste it over here okay and i will simply say uh, any other to exit okay so if i run this now you can see uh, it is asking for number i will just enter the operation it works right now it has start, uh, started in this at the, uh, it started the entire thing again right so i will just enter numbers but instead of the operator okay instead of valid operators i will use some invalid operation you can see what happens okay so as soon as i do uh, invalid operation it exits right so uh, the process returns zero and it is ready to exit right so so we have accomplished the aim so we are running the program repeatedly with the help of go to and we have also included an exit condition perfect okay so i hope you have understood how to use go to statement right see you in the next time